American ginseng, rooted in history. The English word ginseng is derived from the Chinese term which means manroot. It refers to the characteristics of the roots which resemble the shape and body of a man. Asiatic ginseng, which is found in Asia, is known as Panax ginseng. American ginseng, which is known as Panax quincifolia, is found in America. Panax means cure-all. The story of the American ginseng bridged the history of three countries, France, America, and China, and spans 300 years of history. However, the elusive plant finds its beginnings in China more than 5,000 years ago. In Chinese mythology, the Red Emperor Shen Nong was born in the 28th century BC. Shen Nong established an agricultural society in China. Most importantly, he identified and cataloged 365 species of medicinal plants, which were found in the Penzao Gangmu, the Chinese Materia Medica, in which Chinese herbalism is based on. He is credited as the discoverer of important botanicals, such as the reishi mushroom, ginseng and tea, also known as Camellia sinensis. Through his research, Shen Nung discovered that if a man can eat a little ginseng a day, he can live a long life. Ginseng is prized in Asia as a powerful adaptogen and a great restorative for the body. In 1713, Father Zhao Tu, a French Jesuit priest in China, wrote about ginseng. His article, The Description of the Tartarian Plant Ginseng, appeared in the Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society of London in 1714. Father Jartu commented on the plant's many uses in China and included a number of drawings of the Panax ginseng. This same year, the publication reached another French priest, Father Francois Lafiteau, who was stationed in Quebec, Canada. Father Lafiteau showed a sketch of the Panax ginseng root made by Father Jartu to a group of Mohawk Indians. The chief of the Mohawks and his tribe immediately expressed recognition of the plant. They took the priest to a nearby grove where the root was abundant. Father Lafiteau unearthed a few of the roots and sent them back to Paris for verification and classification. The roots were examined by botanists and were verified as members of the ginseng family. It was classified as Panax quincofolium for its five leaves and named as the North American ginseng. Father Lafiteau is recognized as the first white man to discover the American ginseng plant. His hypothesis that Native American Indians came from Siberia, China, along the Bering Straits during the Ice Age has been accepted by the scientific community 300 years after. His hypothesis included the possibility that American Indians brought the ginseng seeds from Siberia to North America during their migration and transplanted them in North America. The French discovery of the ginseng plant in Quebec, Canada in 1716 led to the rise of trade between North America and China. Due to its rarity in China, Panax ginseng is only reserved for the imperial court during the Qing dynasty. The discovery of the American ginseng enabled more commoners accessibility to the roots once reserved for the emperor. Roots were later discovered in other parts of the North American continent. The French discovery of the American ginseng greatly contributed to America's economic independence after it became free from British rule in 1783. Together, American and French troops, supported by French ships, defeated Lord Cornwallis and the Redcoats at Yorktown in 1781. But freedom and independence came with a high price tag. Reality set in after America's signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1783. America became free from British rule, but they owed the French millions of dollars, which in today's conversion amounted to trillions. The French wanted to be paid with silver, not paper money. What is America going to do to pay off its debts? Who is going to bail out America? The newly formed America had to find a way to pay off its debts to France. It looked to the east, China. Robert Morris was known as the financier of the American Revolution. A signer of the Declaration of Independence, he owned a half interest in the American ship, the Empress of China, which was the first American ship to sail and trade in China. In 1784, the ship journeyed from New York to Canton, China. It started from Philadelphia on the 22nd of February and reached Canton, China on the 28th of August, 1784. The voyage was led by Major Samuel Shaw, a former officer of the Continental Army. Shaw traveled to the Orient four times, 
and was the United States' first consul at Canton. The Empress of China carried more than 57,687 pounds of wild ginseng. The roots became a huge export product, together with the fur trade. By 1841, clipper ships carried 640,000 pounds of dried ginseng to China each year. This vintage panoramic view along the Pearl River, circa 1760, the flags flying before the buildings, signify the nationalities trading from the Danish, French, and Belgians, as well as the Swedish, British, and Dutch. Many Americans accumulated much wealth from trading with China. John Jacob Astor was the first billionaire in the United States. He made his money from ginseng and fur. His net worth was approximately $101.7 billion if converted to dollars in 2006. America first traded with China during the reign of the Manchu Emperor, Qingalong, who ruled from 1735 to 1796. China's appetite for the American ginseng helped to pay off America's debts to France. This created great opportunities for many Americans in the Appalachians and those seeking wealth and a better life. Much Chinese art and pottery were brought into America from the late 1700s to the early 1900s in its trade with China. American ginseng is a perennial herb. It grows wild in deciduous forests of the eastern United States. The roots and rhizomes are often branched or forked. They bring a premium price if they are older roots and resemble a human form. During the 1800s, wild ginseng harvesting thrived along most of the nation's eastern seaboard. The U.S. government agricultural agencies helped the trade by publishing manuals of the growth and production of ginseng. These proud Americans took pride in their work. They shared their hard work with their friends by taking photos of their families made into postcards. This postcard dated July 16, 1906. The owner writes to Mrs. Damien Limasheka, Augusta, Illinois, from his farm, Cedar Bluff Ginseng Gardens, Monticello, Missouri. Here is a picture of the gardens you saw last October. They are about twice as large now and valued at $45,000. Cover about one half acre, all under the lattice roof. With love, Maud. With the commercialization and exploitation of the American ginseng, its increased popularity brought new usages in the way of alcohol spirits such as ginseng gin. And in various advertisements, I would for a bottle of ginseng gin. Mmm. This ginseng gin ad reads, The gin with a push. Ma and Pa always drink ginseng gin. By mid-1860, wild ginseng plants in America became almost extinct and could not support the thriving ginseng trade in China, whereupon the American ginseng traders stole the art of cultivating ginseng from Korea. A number of Korean ginseng growers were brought to the United States for the first Korea-American technology transfer. It is believed that the Korean ginseng growers were one of the first Koreans to set foot in America. The first attempts at cultivation were met with failure. However, in a few years, cultivated ginseng roots from America began to flood the Chinese markets. There are many species of ginseng, but we will explore two similar main types. Panax ginseng and American ginseng. Panax ginseng is more fiery and yang and can be used with other herbs as a tonic. It is also much larger in size than the American ginseng. American ginseng is more yin it is used as a relaxant and may be suitable for daily consumption. The Panax ginseng and the American ginseng are both valued for their age and shapes. The age of a ginseng is identified by the thin scars found on its neck. The older the ginseng, the more expensive they are. If they are man-shaped or pearl-shaped, they will fetch higher prices because they are believed to be very potent. Old wild roots are becoming scarce. The oldest wild American ginseng root ever discovered and recorded is 182 years old. The Chinese often chew American ginseng roots much like New England fishermen would chew chunks of uncooked salted cod. Mostly, American ginseng is used as a tea, tonic, or simply brewed with other herbs into soups to nourish the body. Today we can find an array of herbs and tonics in Chinese medicinal shops where different types and grades of ginseng are showcased and sold. To the ginseng community, ginseng is worth its weight in gold, silver, and jade. Stories of ginseng were told for thousands of years. Stories were told that ginseng has legs which can run and hide from its enemies. 
Some claim it has halos which shine at night. Whatever it is, it is known as the plant which promotes health and longevity. American ginseng is rooted in the Appalachians way of life. It is part of the American culture of farming, agriculture, and hunting. America's only resource at its early beginnings was its forests, trappings of animal skins, and ginseng. After the fur trade died, ginseng continued to thrive. Wild ginseng is the rarest and most precious herb in American soils. It can take up to 15 years for the soil to regenerate itself after a ginseng harvest. The million dollar root is one of the prizes a captive of the American ginseng culture, which has been thriving for the last 300 years. Modern uses of ginseng have been documented in hundreds of books. Modern uses include using ginseng for gastrointestinal ailments, alcohol detoxification, blood pressure, diabetes, sexual potency, stress, endurance, longevity, and cancer. In 2001, researchers from the University of Chicago discover that ginseng berries minimize water retention, reduce weight, and help to reduce sugar in type 2 diabetes. In most cases, the subjects had seen at least 20 to 30 percent improvement after consuming the berry juice for about a month. The research of their findings had since been patented. In Kristen Johansson's book, Ginseng Dreams, The Secret World of America's Most Valuable Plant, she wrote about a scientist's discovery of ginseng extract on cancer cells. She found that the more ginseng was given, the less the cancer cells reproduced. American ginseng is the root which bridges the history of France, America, and China. It is an elusive and mysterious plant of myth, inspiration, hope, and dreams. For the last 300 years, the world rose and fell, but the humble ginseng plant, hidden amongst the green foliage of the forest floor, lives on, rooted in history.